you will find out that if you install the Play Store or the Windows subsystem for Android on your PC, it is going to be stored by default on the Windows drive or the C drive. And this limits you to maybe the storage in case your C drive is having less storage or in case you do not want to overuse the C drive storage capacity. So the best solution for us is to transfer the Play Store from the C drive to a different drive. For example, maybe D or a drive like E that I have here. So the first thing you have to do is you have to first install the Windows subsystem for Android or the Play Store on your Windows PC. So please, if you do not install that, please watch out the video tutorial. I'll attach the link in the description. And follow that video tutorial and install the Play Store on your Windows system. And after that, you can come and follow up this tutorial series. Okay. Uh, if you are here now, I assume that you have finished installing the Play Store on your Windows system and you are just here just to transfer that to a different drive. So the first thing we are going to look at is if you go to location for Windows subsystem for Android by pressing the Windows button plus R. I'll attach the file location name in the description. Please check it out. Then I'll click OK. You will see that we have a folder called user data. Yours may be user data 2 or user data 1 or 3 or 4, as long as it is user data. Now, if I check the properties for this user data file, you will see that it is showing that it is currently stored on the C drive. If you see that. Is currently stored on the C drive and it has a storage capacity of 10 gigabytes. So the storage capacity is going to be different depending on the applications that we have downloaded. If I check my Play Store, you can see that all these different applications I download, if, for example, FC uh, Mobile is installed it is currently installed and is also going to be found within the user data so all these different applications you download are going to be stored inside the user data so our task is going to be to transfer the user data file from this location to another location or C drive or and or the d drive or the a drive so the first thing we shall do is click your windows button and then type in windows subsystem for android if you have already installed this it will show up click open then scroll down and look for turn off windows subsystem for android so i'll first go and close my play store make sure you close your play store and all the applications that are running for android then i'll come and click on turn off so turn off the windows subsystem for Android. When you finish turning off your Windows subsystem for Android, I will minimize that. Then come back to this location. Then click on the user data and also go ahead and look for the file which is called metadata2. Also click on that. So I'll control click or you can copy one by one. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say cut. So when I cut that, I'll go ahead and look for the location that I want to store them to. For me, I'll choose this location for drive E, which is called Mac OS. So I'll open this. Then inside this folder, sorry about that. So inside that folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder. Okay, so create a new folder inside that. Then I'm going to call it Play Store. You can call it any name that you want. Then I'm going to open it up. Then I'm going to paste inside this. I'll paste in those two files, the metadata and the user data. 
So after copying the two files here, the metadata and the user data, if I go back to the location for the Android subsystem, you can see that I do not have those files anymore within this, okay? I don't have those files, the metadata and the user data. When you are done with that step, the thing you are going to do next is you're going to go, you go to, go to your Google Chrome and then type the following, link shell extension download then you hit enter so i'm going to click on the link shell look for this link that has that one okay then i'll click on that i'll attach the link in the description too then click on download so scroll up and look for download this is the download part then uh if you're using windows 10 then you may be having 32 bit or 64 bit so you can choose the architecture depending on your computer if you have windows 11 that is 64 bit so i'm going to click on the link shell extension this one you see 3.7 6 megabytes this one then i'll click on that and it is going to automatically start downloading okay so when you are downloading make sure that you choose the architecture of your computer if you have windows 10 so that you can get the proper file so our file is done downloading so i'm going to go ahead and open it up so i'll click that open the link shell extension then i'll click yes or you can go to your downloads folder and find it up then you open and install i'll click ok then I'm going to click next install. I'll click yes. They're going to close all the explorers. Don't mind about that. Then after that, I'm uh, it will okay. So everything has been restarted. Now, when you are done, I'm going to minimize that. Then I'll close that. Okay. So now the next thing you're going to do after doing that, uh, you're going to go back to your folder for the hard drive that we just what created okay so i'll go ahead and click on this pc then i'll go to mac os that's where i installed my i transferred my files to then i'll go to play store then look for metadata to first i'll click on that then i'm going to right click and i'll go to show more options then i'm going to look for the word pick link source as long as you install the file the shell extension okay it is going to have this option so i'm going to click on pick link source if you do not see this option it means that you did not install the extension or the shell extension very well okay so go back and install the link shell extension so i'm going to come and click on pick link source i'll click on that then open up again the location where you have the windows subsystem for android which i attached in the description i'll click ok then come here right click inside this then go to show more options and click on drop symbolic link there's an option which is going to be having drop symbolic link so i'll click on that option here then they're going to bring the metadata shortcut here then go back to the file the folder again do the same with user data too so i'll right click on user data to show more options then i'm going to be pick link so, so i'll click on that then i'll go back to the windows subsystem for android location then i'm going to right click show more options and then i'm going to say drop symbolic link okay so i'm going to click on drop symbolic link now if you are done doing that if you check out uh you're going to see that the metadata tool and the user data to have the shortcut icon there is this arrow which shows shortcut it means that now they are referencing to the original files which we transferred to the play store please do not delete any of them now when you are done with that uh press your windows button then press play store because we had we had disabled it okay 
So in order to enable the Windows subsystem for Android, open any application for Android or you can open the Play Store. So I'll open that. So it is going to start the Windows subsystem for Android. Okay, don't worry about that. It will come maybe and disappear, then do the same again. Then I'll type again Play Store. Then I'm going to click Open. This time it has to work. Now, uh, when it is done, that is it. You can check and see. But the best thing I would uh, maybe recommend is maybe you can just restart your PC and everything is going to move on smoothly, okay? So that is it. Uh, the other thing you can find is maybe that now if you install any game or any file like this one, Doomsday, it is very big. It has 1.7 gigabytes. This time if you install this, it is going to be stored directly onto this user data, which is on the other drive for E. So it, there is no any other file that is going to be storing on the drive C. So there you can save your storage data on C, or you can even use the other drives as much as you want. So basically that is it. Please, uh, in case you have any suggestions, any comment, leave it in the comment section. If you have any troubles, leave the comment section. Then I'll come back and get back to you as soon as possible. Please, I'll make sure that I answer any questions you have in the comment section. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification button for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.